So a dip can be done lots of ways. I'm going to show you barefoot. A lot of our beginners are always in bare feet. Um, you can wear heels when you're comfortable. And we'll talk a little bit about the benefits of heels as well. You can start in smaller heights. Don't worry, you don't have to start in a big height heel. So a dip is also commonly known as a step around um, or a 360 around the pole. It can be done with lots of different flair. So we talk about flair today, uh, making simple moves, you know, more interesting, even if you're not a beginner dancer. So this move is gonna start next to the pole, just for sake of learning purposes, with our shoulders down and back, like I have a field goal, my upper body, pulling my shoulders down and back, relaxing my outside arm, it's the arm away from the pole, I'm gonna reach up high with my inside arm and pull my shoulder down and back. Engaging through my belly, I'm gonna step with the same arm as leg, right in front of the pole, that's my left leg, we call that your inside leg. So from here, next step, I'm going to turn my body, face my hips to the pole. My back leg is going to lift, reaching across the pole with my right arm, right legs up. I'm going to spin that leg around the pole, bend my knees, and come back to my starting point. So, again, reaching high, shoulders back, pull that belly in. You're going to step with the same arm as leg. You're going to face the pole, Grab the pole, spin around, swing that leg, and there you go. All right, so this is a little quicker than we do in class, but I'm going to show you some fun things you can do with the dip to make it your own, have a little bit more fun with it once you get comfortable with the move itself. So I'm going to switch sides just for good practice. So here I am again, inside arm, inside leg. This time, I'm going to swing my hips as I step around the pole. So as I take that back leg out, I'm going to whoosh through my booty and swing my weight and try to do a little bit of a hip circle mid dip. So this is one of my favorite ones. It's pretty subtle. It's easier to exaggerate it right there. So here we go, I'll try to do it really slow for you guys. So shoulders back, reaching high, inside leg, inside arm, now we're on the right. Pulling your belly in, stepping with the inside leg, swinging your outside leg, sit, hips, and back. So you can see I got a little extra momentum with that one as I swung my hips around the pole. Even though this pole is on spin, you still create momentum with that outside leg and with the movement of the hips. All right, so back to the other side. Last one, we're gonna show you a nice deep squat dip. I have a lot of teachers who love to teach this style of dip, and it's really fun, unique, lots of transitions to the floor can come from it. So basically, same, same makeup, inside step, inside arm, outside leg around the pole, same move. This time, as I swing that leg around the pole, I'm gonna drop my hips significantly away from the pole. Try to stay up on your tippy toes. This is gonna be a little harder if you're brand new because your instinct is gonna to be to stay close to the pole. So imagine you're doing a squat, okay? A parallel knee squat facing the pole when you do this dip. So again, same format. Shoulders back, inside arm, inside leg, pull your belly in. And you're gonna step, swing, grab your pole across. You're gonna drop the hips low, pull back up, okay? So, for example, we talked about how you could easily go to the floor from that move. So, if I inside step, outside swing, drop the hips low, then I can swing around, do a little half turn, and land on my butt. 